And this video explains the fundamentals of the rectilinear motion with constant acceleration. So when we say constant acceleration, so the acceleration remains the same, equal or constant from the start of the motion up to the end of the motion with respect to the change in position. So let us recall that we have the following differential kinematic equations of motions. So we have V equals dS over dt. We also have the acceleration as the function of time or A equals dv over dt and we have v dv equals a d s so from this three equation differential kinematic equations we can derive the formulas for the rectilinear motion with constant acceleration. So first we have this V equals dS over dt. So rewriting the equation, we have dS equals V d t so by integration we have d s with the limit of s and lower limit of zero and integral of v d t so with the limit of upper limit t and lower limit of zero so by integration we have s is equal to v o plus a t dt t and 0 now we have here s equals v o t plus a t squared over 2 So this is the equation of position as a function of time. Now we have A equals dv over dt. So if we write this, we have dv equals A dt. So by integration, so we have dv with the limits of v and vo equals a dt with the limits of t and 0 so we have a v minus v o by integration equals a t So by transposition, we have V equals V O plus A T. Now, from this equation, we have V D V equals A D S. So by differentiation or by integration, 
we have integral of v dv with the limit of v and vo is equal to the integral of a ds with the limit of s and zero so we have here v squared over 2 minus v o squared over 2 equals a s so this can be written as v squared minus v o squared over 2 equals a s then we have v squared minus v o squared equals 2 a s by transposition v squared equals v o squared plus 2 a s where s is the position v o is the initial velocity so for metric we have meters velocity meters per second v is the final velocity we also have a is the acceleration meter per second squared and we have t as their time in seconds so those are the three equations for rectilinear motion with constant acceleration so the technique or the procedure for analyzing problems procedure for analysis of any problem so we start with uh, making the diagram of the motion motion or the position diagram so since this is rectilinear so it the path is usually straight line so wherein you have your s so this is your s travel so this is your initial position so this is your s o this is your final position s so this is delta s so you have here your initial velocity and your final velocity and your time travel and you also have your acceleration which is constant so to properly analyze a problem so start with the position diagram or the motion diagram then also this equation is only applicable when at t equals zero so initial time at the start your v is v o and your s is s o or the initial so let's solve for an example to further understand the concept so, initially, the car travels along straight road with a speed of 35 meters per second. If the brakes are applied and the speed of the car is reduced to 10 meters per second and 15 seconds, determine the constant deceleration of the car. So, solve the problem. Let's draw the motion diagram. So, this is the initial position of the car so it has 
an initial velocity of 15 meters per second. It applies the brake then at a certain distance as the speed of the car is reduced to 10 meters per second. So, at a time t of 15 seconds. Now, determine the constant deceleration of the car. So, deceleration is the a type of acceleration wherein the object reduces its speed. So, we have the following given. So, we have the initial velocity of 15 meters per second, final velocity of 10 meters per second, and we have your T is 15 seconds. This is the change in the position delta S. So, determine the constant deceleration of the car. So, for the solution, we, have, we can use this equation. So, the velocity is a function of time. V equals VO plus AT. So, we have 15 equal our 35, not 15. So, we have 35 equals VO 10 plus A times 15. So, we have 15A equals 35 minus 10 divided by 15. We have A equals 25 over 15. That is equal to 1.667 meters per second squared. So, this is the value of the constant deceleration so add negative so negative denotes deceleration or the negative acceleration